Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Raw. As leader of the Army of Heaven, I would like to say that the actions of last week and the song that was sang was only meant for good. Now there has been rumors that someone is here, a heretic, is here tonight to spread lies and, and heresy across the years of the WWE Universe, saying that that song is meant as a as a revenge type of thing. No, no. Couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, you want to know our true plans? Let me quote from the good book, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Ladies and gentlemen, the Army of Heaven are here to help all of you. I say these na in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. One second delay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Kurt Angle has addressed the WWE Universe, claiming that last week when he was singing, it wasn't supposed to be creepy, it wasn't meant to be anything, but he says that there's a man in the backstage somewhere who's who's meant to come out tonight and tell us what that song really means, where it's from. Um, I've actually I've actually heard that it's from a show called Game of Thrones. I don't know much about the show, but we do have someone in the backstage area who knows a lot about the show. He's going to come out. Michael Cole has an exclusive interview with him, and he is going to explain to us what exactly this song is about. But here we go. We're starting out tonight in Denver, Colorado with Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is on a mission to stop the Army of Heaven. He cannot, he cannot express how much he hates this group of individuals past couple of weeks he's been trying to help these people understand these people that he's in a match matches with that that they are being duped they're being fooled Kofi Kingston Rey Mysterio next on the list Rey Mysterio even has a cross tattooed across his chest so he's got to understand what the army of heaven's all about and Dean Ambrose is trying to tell him otherwise I would like to state that over the weekend, the Army of Heaven did donate even more money to charities across the world, and they helped build a home for a homeless group of individuals up in Indianapolis. So the Army of Heaven, they have just been absolutely stellar in their community projects. They have been doing everything right. Dean Ambrose, I've not seen him. Where has he been? Where has he contributed all of his funds? <coughs> I don't see Dean Ambrose building any houses like the Army of Heaven are. But Dean Ambrose, look at him go. He's he's like some other kind of animal tonight. Look at him. He is taking out Rey Mysterio and Kofi Kingston as if they were nothing. As if they were a couple of rookies from NXT. Dean Ambrose... Rey Mysterio trying to get a comeback going here. And Dean Ambrose nips that in the bud. And look at that clothesline. Dean Ambrose pulling Rey Mysterio up. Going for his signature move. A pile driver here. Connecting. Kofi Kingston now on the attack of Rey Mysterio. Look at that spinning heel kick by Kofi Kingston. There's an STO by Dean Ambrose. Clothesline. It's Dean Ambrose looking for the knee trembler here. Knee trembler to Rey Mysterio. Dean Ambrose running the ropes. Kofi Kingston going for the pin. I don't think so, pal. I don't think so. You're not mopping up my win. I am playing this on a, a quicked up speed because Dean Ambrose 
is um, quite worked up tonight, and it's a triple threat, and who knows how long these matches can go for. And I need Dean Ambrose to win. I can't take it to chance. Raw is my, t my produced show. It's the show that I need things to happen the way I want them to. Dean Ambrose, double axe handle. Kofi Kingston taking the spill on the head, and look at this. Head scissors. Elbows. Oh, look at the elbow. The elbow has cut Kofi Kingston open. Kofi Kingston has been busted open here. Is he going? Pile driver. Oh, pile driver to the outside of the ring. And Rey Mysterio now attacking Kofi Kingston. Dean Ambrose is grabbing a chair. It seems that Rey Mysterio and Kofi Kingston are so blinded by each other that they hardly see Dean Ambrose. Rey Mysterio with a reversal there. And look at that, an arm bar to Rey Mysterio. You cannot submit someone outside the ring. Oh! The chest of Rey Mysterio going through that chair. Dean Ambrose attacking these two superstars in this triple threat match. Rey Mysterio with a Hurricane Rana. Maybe finally Kofi Kingston and uh, Rey are starting to see... Oh, knee trembler out of nowhere. Clothesline. Dean Ambrose is sending a message, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he, he's setting Kofi up. What is this? Oh, he's going for... Is he going for his pile driver through the announce table? Oh my god. Oh my god. Dean Ambrose is taking these superstars to the woodshed. Look at that. Kofi Kingston's down. Is he ever going to get back up? You could count to a hundred. Dean Ambrose tossing Rey Mysterio back into the ring. A kick straight to the head of Rey Mysterio. Kofi Kingston stumbling to his feet. Still kind of woozy. Knee trembler to Rey Mysterio in the middle of the ring. Kofi Kingston struggling to find his way back into the ring. Here comes the ref. One, two, three. Kofi Kingston back up. But it's too late. Dean Ambrose wins. And it, and it seems that our the general manager is asking Justin Roberts to grab a mic and go interview Dean Ambrose about his recent thoughts on the Army of Heaven. But look at that highlight, the pile driver through the announce table. Oh, they're not going to show that one. <laughs> glitches, glitches galore. And here you have it, Dean Ambrose is your winner. Get Justin, Gabr Justin um, Roberts in there. Justin Roberts is in for the interview. Let's go to the interview. Justin Roberts, I... Uh... I, uh, I already know what you're going to ask me. What question do you want to ask me? Well, Justin Roberts, I want to give you a question uh, w with another question. Um, if you were to ask me the question you're thinking of asking me, what would I say? Well, this is what I would say. If you were being led to the slaughter would you try anything to get out of line would you try anything to get out of the wolf's gaze and escape into the meadowlands with the other sheep hmm you would but you're not none of you are none of you people see it you don't understand what's going on you don't see what these people are doing to you they are giving you false hope they're giving you an idol that can't be there when you need them. They are lying to you. They're giving you something that is not tangible. You can't touch it. You can't feel it. It's not real. It's a facade, Justin. And you know what? I've just tried to teach two more people about what is going on and they won't listen to me even after I beat them they still won't listen to me so I'm gonna find someone who will listen to me I'm gonna bring them here I'm gonna bring them here next week 
and they'll listen to me. He's a good friend of mine. I know him very well. Some of you out there in the universe may know him. <laughs> but you don't know him like I do. He, he trusts me. He sees what I see. He knows the evils of Kurt Angle. He knows what these three gentlemen are doing. <laughs> and let it be known if I could take a page from the good book. Let it be known that unto the people they were cast from heaven. You people are all sheep. All you do is listen and follow and nod your little heads for the apples that they give to you. That's fine. I'm done trying to explain to you. I'm done trying to warn you. I'm done trying to help you. Dean Ambrose is out. I am done. You want to bring about the end of the world? You want to watch it burn? Fine. I won't be a part of it. Next week, I bring someone here who will listen to me. And we'll do what we can. But I'm done explaining myself to you people. So Justin Roberts, whatever question you were going to ask me, shove it where the sun don't shine because I no longer care this interview's over it's over it's over alright ladies and gentlemen Dean Ambrose is sick of the WWE universe not listening to him Kofi and Ray the, apparently they're not listening to him and wow is he upset he says he has a special friend who will listen to him coming to Raw next week to help him in the fight against the Army of Heaven. Even though he knows it's a lost cause, he is going down with the ship, it sounds like. Dean Ambrose is um a little more off his rocker as the weeks go by here. Oh, and look at this. Last week we had Paige. This week, Tara. If you don't remember her... She used to go by the name Victoria. She used to be the women's champion. Had a brief stint in TNA. And here comes Eve. The Wonder Woman of the WWE. These two are going to have a match. And I don't know who should win because they're divas and I have nothing for them. I guess we'll play as Tara. And while we're playing as Tara, we will see... Um, I'll kind of go through what happened on Raw. Not a whole lot. Um, basically, um, the Elimination Chamber is going to be interesting. I think it's it's not going to be matches like you're used to. Um, it's going to be... Well, the World Heavyweight Championship will be a match that you're used to. But um, I, 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 don't, I didn't watch it. I just looked at the results because I'm actually doing this while it's on. I'll watch it a little later tonight as I go to bed. Um... But so one of the main things that happened was John Cena, Ryback, and Sheamus um, attacked the shield again um, using the shield tactics. So very interesting what they're doing with the shield right now. And, and I would say leading into WrestleMania, they're going to have something awesome in store for the shield because, I mean, they would have to, right? So I'm very excited to see where the shield is going for the Elimination Chamber. The Elimination Chamber is this weekend... Wasn't money or wasn't um, Royal Rumble last weekend? Oh man, like I've been sick, so like time has just flown by. Seems like yesterday I was watching the Royal Rumble. So this week, I, after watching Raw a little later tonight, I gotta get those Elimination Chamber videos up. I'm liking Tara's uh, move set so far. It's looking very good. Um, the other thing I'm kind of excited about is Brodus Clay teaming with Tensai. I like that. I like it. And and if they wanted to turn heel, they absolutely could, and you would believe them. It's it's so perfect. It is a very good match up there. Um, other things that happened on Raw. Let's see. Punk. Um, okay, so this was the main event, um, and The Rock came out. Rock was on Raw, of course, and um, Punk came out. GTS to The Rock, and he steals the WWE Championship. So, 
looks like going into the elimination chamber punk is in possession of the championship i'm glad they did that because i love that storyline of challenger stealing the champions championship it's amazing i do like it and i haven't seen that promo or that um segment yet but i'm very excited that it's going to be awesome so i'm very optimistic about this punk rock thing i mean we've got cm punk versus the rock shield versus cena sheamus and um ryback um you have an elimination chamber match with jericho with Mark Henry, with Jack Swagger. Um, let's see, Kane is in there. The champion, of course, Del Rio is in there. And I think there should be somebody else. It could be Big Show. So it's going to be a very exciting chamber match there. Um, let's see, what other matches are you going to have? You're probably going to have a Divas match. It's kind of lame, but whatever. Um, the tag, um, I don't. You won't have a World Tag Team Championship match because Kane is in the chamber. Was Daniel Bryan in the chamber match too? I think he is. Hmm, interesting. So that's going to be an interesting chamber match. Um, oh, and look at that. Eve just got Hurricane Runner through the chair. And Tara in the middle of the ring. Eve should be a little embarrassed. Tara is, is quite older. She's getting her ass handed to her. Got some new divas on the rise in it, and I'm bringing them into universe mode. It's up to universe mode if it wants to use them or not. I should like uh, get Trish. I should get all the really good ones from from all times past. And here we go. Is this Widow's Peak? Is this the Widow's Peak? Yes. Widow's Peak connecting to Eve. One. No. Eve kicks out. I'm starting to bring in new characters, and especially with the draft coming up after SummerSlam, this is going to be a very exciting universe mode to be writing for. I mean, I can only imagine, like, experiencing it and watching it is crazy, but writing for it is crazy difficult. I've got so many ideas, so many ways to go with things, and I've got a couple ideas um, from you guys in the comments. Um, so I'm, I'm very optimistic. Just give me your ideas of what you think should happen, and it may happen, because if it's the best storyline to go with, the one that actually makes sense, then I'll probably do it. Eve trying a drop kick in the corner there. Tara getting the upper hand, using those kicks. Oh man, look at that, a half Boston Crab. Trying to get to the ropes. Powering out of it. And ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting started here on Monday Night Raw. Later tonight, we do have Justin Gabriel, CM Punk's apprentice, and the Money in the Bank briefcase winner taking on R-Truth. So is CM Punk going to be involved in that match? And then in the main event, we do have uh, CM Punk taking on The Rock. So that's a very exciting match. It should have been CM Punk versus Kane. There's the Widow's Peak. That's her finisher. What the hell are they doing? Tara with a wake-up taunt. And here we go. The Gory Bomb now. That's a Gory Bomb. So <laughs> that's not the Widow's Peak. All right, going for the pin. One. No, are you joking me? What, did it automatically go to Epic? Look at that, she's in the red. What's going on here? Eve getting taken down. Tara. Measuring up here. Moonsault. Using those ropes, but Eve gets up. Oh, and look at that kick straight to the face. And here we go. Tara going up to the ropes again. Oh, and she missed. No, that's how I wanted to finish the match. Now it'll look silly. Oh, man, hip toss. Eve is starting to get nippy here. 
Terra tossing Eve over the ropes. Eve getting taken down. And I guess I should announce this now. If you don't watch my vlog weeklies or any of my other vlogs, I am getting a PS3, um, a 60 gig, one that can play PS2 um, games. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of a playthrough of Here Comes the Pain. It is still my favorite wrestling game of the past, of the past generation. This generation, of course, I'm going to say WWE 13. But the past generation, I mean, oh, it's just amazing. So I will be doing a playthrough of Here Comes the Pain. So you will have some more wrestling content. So no worries about that. Going for the Gory Bomb again. Connecting once again the third Gory Bomb. Is it going to be enough to take down Eve? One. No. Look at that. <coughs> Eve, is she going for her, her finisher here? Oh, and look at that unique takedown by Tara. Eve. On the... Oh, here she comes. Oh, going for a pin. Going for a pin. Is that going to be at one? No. Is Eve unbeatable? Can we not beat Eve? Is that what's going on here? I'll submit her ass if I have to. I will submit her ass if I have to. Turnover. Look at that. Look at that. You like that, Eve? You like that? I'm not done yet. Oh, no. Eve reversed. Good God. This match will never end. It, it turned into an epic match now. Tara going to do a gory bomb for a fourth time. Fourth gory bomb. Oh, and going for, going for a Boston Crab here. Is that going to be enough to take down Eve? She's in the red. I don't understand why she's not tapping out. Oh, God, hurry. Ah! And Eve taps out. Eve taps out to Terra. The tarantula stretch from Terra. Oh, man, what a crazy Divas match. Holy hell. Ladies and gentlemen, this is only part one of Monday Night Raw. Coming up, we also have the Army of Heaven, Zack Ryder, taking on Primo. We also have that so-called heretic going to be announcing to the world what happened last week. What is up with this song from the Game of Thrones? Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do what you got to do. And we will see you for part two of Monday Night Raw. Ginger King, checking out.